Hey guys, welcome back to The Curly Reader. Um, my name's Amanda and today I want to do the Booknet All-Star Charity Challenge. Did I do that right? Yeah, I did that right. All right, so this is something that Rachel Marie is doing. She started it from her channel. I will leave her links and the links to all of the details down below. But basically, long story short, she is doing this to raise money for charity. Um, and so I think for every person that does this, she is donating a pound to the NHS in England um, or, yeah, in Great Britain um, for charity up to 75 pounds. So, and then I think if you want to just donate flat out, flat out that you can donate to the pool too. I think there's more details, um, but that's the gist of it. And like I said, I will link all of the details and information down below. But basically this is a board. I think it's 18 of the Booktornet's most well-loved books. And honestly, this is mostly YA and it's, I think it's geared towards younger readers, but I figured I'd do it because I've read a lot of these. So why the heck not? What else do I have to do, right? So anyway, without further ado, let's get into these and I'm going to let you know which of these I have read, which of them I haven't read, thoughts, opinions, all of that. So the first one is Angie Thomas. Um, Angie Thomas is the author of The Hate You Give and On the Come Up. And I have read The Hate You Give. I have not read On the Come Up. Um, the Hate You Give, when I first read it, I really, really enjoyed it. I think I gave it five stars. Um, and then I read some own voices reviews of it that kind of got the wheels churning a little bit and it made me realize that I didn't sorry for the slamming doors the kids are home and they are running in and out of the house so anyway um, but anyway it made me realize that I didn't really um, like the direction that the book went um, this all being said from someone that is not represented in this book so I completely get that my opinions really don't matter that much when it comes to this book but I ended up um, dropping my star rating down to three stars um, and if you want more information I think I have it on my Goodreads review so I will just kind of leave it at that and I have not read on the come up but I've heard really good things about that one and I don't know if I really will read it it's just I'm not really reading a whole lot of YA anymore um, and it hasn't really struck my fancy as far as like pulling me in, but um, I did, like I said, I have heard of it and I have heard good things about it if that sounds like something you're interested in. All right, the next um, one is the Shatter Me series by Tahira Mafi. Um, I have not read these. I have no desire to read these. Um, it's just kind of, I know these are kind of older, the original ones are anyway, and nothing about them has called to me or spoken to me or like, I just never really got on that train. The next one is Lee Bardugo, and I have read all of her Grishaverse books except for Language of Thorns, which is her like fairy tale short story kind of compilation. I read a couple of them and then I DNF'd it, not for any specific reason, it just wasn't really my thing. Um, I really enjoyed the Shadow and Bone, the Grishaverse trilogy, and the Six of Crows duology I loved. I read King of Scars last year and didn't like it at all. I thought it was not a good book, um, but I love Nikolai in the Grishaverse, so I don't know. I am very much looking forward to the Netflix series that's coming out soon, hopefully, of this. I think that will be a lot of fun, um, but anyway, so I have read those. I have not read Ninth House. I probably won't read it. It just doesn't really seem like my cup of tea, um, but anyway, so I have enjoyed her her Grisha verse stuff though. The next one on the list is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. And this is another one that I just haven't read. Um, I did start this one a couple of times and it just never really pulled me in and I probably won't read it. Um, after that we have The Bone Witch. I had never heard of this book until this challenge so I haven't read it and I probably won't because I just don't. Um, a lot of these are fantasy and I'm finding out more and more I'm getting away from reading fantasy. Um, so that may be another reason why the door, always with the door. But anyway, moving on. The next one is V. Schwab and um, she is the author of the Darker Shade of Magic series as well as Vicious and Vengeful. And then she also has a middle grade series that she has started. I have not read anything by her yet. Um, oh, I think she also read Our Dark Duet or our savage song and our dark duet. I haven't read those. 
Um, the Darker Shade of Magic is on my 2020 TBR. I do really want to read some of her books. I want to read the Darker Shade of Mal Magic trilogy, and I want to read the Vicious and Vengeful um, duology. Um, those are the ones that really I'm most interested in. I just haven't gotten around to reading them yet. All right, next we have, hold on, I actually have these ones. Oh man, <laughs> the Lunar Chronicles. These are, they're backwards because this is how they sit on my shelf, um, but these are my favorite, like one of my favorite series ever. I love these books so, so, so much. Um, the audiobooks are fantastic. They are narrated by, by Rebecca Solaire, who is one of my all-time favorite narrators. They are wonderful. I have read all of them as well as Stars Above. I think that Marissa Meyer is brilliant and I just love, love, love the Lunar Chronicles. They are all sci-fi. They are all fairy tale retellings. They are all so well done and they are just so much fun. So fun. All right, um, the next one is Adam Silvera, and I have not read anything by him, and I have no interest in reading anything by him. It just isn't my thing. So um, next we have Cassandra Clare. I read the first book of the Shadow Hunters, I think is what it's called, series, and that's it. I have zero desire to read that book, uh, or those, like, to carry on with the series and, like, the Infernal Devices and the Dark Artifices. There's, like, there's so many books that I just, I have no, no desire to get into all that. Just no. <laughs> so, um, next we have The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by, um, Taylor Jenkins Reid, and I did read this, and I love this book. I think it is brilliant. I love Taylor Jenkins Reid. She is brilliant. I've read everything written by her, and I can't wait for her to put something else out because I have a feeling it's going to be brilliant just as well. All right, next we have Lainey Taylor, and I have not read anything by Lainey Taylor. Um, she wrote Strange the Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares, and then she also wrote, wrote Daughter of Spoken Bone, I think, that series. Um, and I have, I just really don't have any desire to read any of those. I've heard great things about Strange the Dreamer, not so much about Muse of Nightmares, um, but I don't know. I just, I not my thing. All right, um, next we have, oh, I have these ones too, Illuminae. Um, I have all of them. I've read all of them. I love all of them, and believe it or not, for being such a huge audiobook fan, I have not listened to the audiobooks of these. I read all of these because they are all written in, like, multimedia format, and they are amazing and wonderful and everybody should read them. Um, I know a lot of people love the first one and like after that kind of fell off the wagon and didn't really care for them. I loved all of them. I thought all of them were brilliant and yeah, read them if you haven't. They're fantastic. They're all sci-fi. They're like set, the first one takes place, um, these two teens like broke up and it's the morning after their breakup and then they're living on this like planet out in deep space and their planet is attacked by this huge organization that wants the mining that's going on on their planet. They like want to own it or whatever. So anyway, their planet gets attacked and they both end up in space on different spaceships and that's kind of where the story starts. So anyway, fantastic books. Moving on, we have Scythe by Neil Schusterman. I fairly recently, earlier this year, read all three Scythe books and loved them. I didn't like the last one quite as much as the first two, but they were still great. I do own all of these. However, I have them lent out to a friend. So yeah, these are fantastic. I love them. I Like I said, I don't read quite as much fantasy and I don't read quite as much YA anymore, but these I loved. So there's that. All right, next we have a person, and I have no idea who this is. So I'm going to need to do a little bit of research and find out who this is a picture of. All right, it is Sarah J. Mass. <laughs> um, that's the thing with this. I have this on my tablet, but um, it's either a picture of the book or it's a picture of the author. And a lot of them I know, mostly from reading, watching other people's videos of this. Um, but this one, I had no idea what she looked like, so now I do. Um, but this is Sarah J. Mass, and I do own Throne of Glass, but I have not read it yet, and I have not read anything by Sarah J. Mass. Um, I'm trying to convince myself I need to read this, but I have yet to do it. I've heard that her um, A Court of Thorns and Roses are, I don't know if that's the first one, but anyway, that series, that trilogy is actually 
better than Throne of Glass. Um, but either way, they're both fantasy YA, and that's not really my jam. Um, sometimes I really like it, as you can see. Like, there are some cases where I really like it, but I don't know. I, should I read it? I don't know. Probably, but... All right, moving on. Um, the next one is Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. I have read Ember in the Ashes. I did not continue the series. I probably won't continue the series. It was fine. It was a great book. Great book. Um, it was a fine book. Um, it just didn't really pull me in enough for me to want to finish a series. So, but I did read it. It was decent. Um, the next one is Shauna McGuire, and Shauna McGuire wrote the Every Heart a Doorway, I think is the name of it, series. It's a bunch of novellas. Um, she also wrote um, Middle Game. Um, no, yeah, I think it's Middle Game. Now I can't remember. I'm doubting myself now. Um, but, so yeah, I have not read anything by her. I am most interested in reading Every Heart a Doorway. I've heard mixed things about it, um, but they're short enough that I've heard that they're fairly quick, obviously fairly quick to get through if they're so short, but um, they are about like kids that come back from other worlds. So like um, Alice in Wonderland or the Chronicles of Narnia kids or, you know, whatever. And they come back and then they go to the special school to like deal with being back in the real world. Um, kind of like therapy, I'm guessing. I don't know. Um, but it's about that. So, and that sounded interesting to me. They've been on my TBR for years. I just have never gotten around to reading them. All right, next we have The Poppy War, which is a, I don't know if it's YA or not, but it's a fantasy and it is a chunker and I have zero interest in reading it. I just, not huge on fantasy. Um, and then the last one is To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. Um, I have read all three books in this series. They were fine. They were like three star reads for me. Nothing great, nothing awful, easy to get through, teen angst stuff, but they're about um, a girl who basically writes letters to all of her unrequited love interests in school and keeps them in a shoebox and then they accidentally get mailed out and she's kind of dealing with the fallout from that. That's the first book and then it goes from there. So anyway, that is it. Those are all the books that were on this list. I can think of a few more that I think probably could be added, but no mind. Um, I think that it was a good list to, these do cover a lot of books that are talked about a lot on booktube. Um, and yeah, these are, I've read, like I said, quite a few of them, have no interest in reading some of them, and a little bit of interest in reading others. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this. Check out Rachel Marie's channel and all of the information about the charity um, donations down below. And yeah, other than that, I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that you stick around and subscribe and until next time, see ya.